In the early 70s, during the martial arts film craze, where martial arts was very prominent during this period of time, late 60s up until about the early 80s, there arose another martial arts action film star by the name of James Ryan. James Ryan appeared in two what became very popular martial arts films. Uh, the first one was entitled Kill or Be Killed. It featured a host of martial arts uh, practitioners as actors in this particular film and there were some I should say just simply actors that were not martial arts practitioners at all such as uh, Into the Drag and, and even The Matrix and other films that are similar and uh, the sequel to that movie was called Kill and Kill Again which came out in the early 80s and as I said it started actor it starred rather actor James Ryan and the question was posed uh, to me here recently what do I think about James Ryan as a martial artist and if he was indeed a martial artist at all well I did a bit of research on James Ryan and even when I looked at Wikipedia it's never mentioned him as a martial artist or a martial arts master or anything else similar it just simply said a South African actor he was born in South Africa and uh, all of the other pieces of information that I gathered uh, state basically the same IMB and so forth so uh, it's interesting that I watched a um, preview of one of his older movies um, and it started out James Ryan four times world champion then it ran into his character so I wasn't really sure at first if it's saying that he was actually a martial arts champion somewhere and then it began to talk about the story of the film that he was appearing in but this is me and my view I'm not one to denigrate someone's talent and our ability and skill and so forth based on what I've seen in terms of uh, information available unless someone knows more than what I know about this this gentleman James Ryan he was a good actor and kill or be killed and kill and kill again but he was not over the top uh, as a martial artist in my viewpoint uh, sort of like Keanu Reeves in the Matrix series Keanu was not a legitimate slash real martial artist he was trained to do those stunts and those techniques from Wing Chun and various other arts in the Matrix. Just like David Carradine back in the 70s in the uh, television series Kung Fu, he was not a martial artist either. Just like Pat Morita who played Mr. Miyagi in the Karate Kid uh, series, he was not a martial artist as well and then the list goes on. So there are some guys who are just and even gals if you will who are just simply actors and actresses just playing a particular role and then they have co-actors or other martial arts masters around them that's actually choreographing the fight scenes for them and I believe that this was such the story with James Ryan from my view again however I'm not a fly on the wall throughout his career I didn't know if he actually studied martial arts but it does not seem as though he's a actual martial artist. He's 68 today, he's born in 1952. And when I look at the movie again, some of the clips from uh, Kill, and Kill Again and Kill or Be Killed, it's a little too rigid for me. No pun intended when we're talking about karate, we talk about rigidity and so forth. It's too rigid for me when I look at him in the movie and I can decipher and or discern pretty well after 50 years in the martial arts almost. Uh, I've seen many fighters, trained many fighters in martial artists, and uh, it just looks not too legitimate. Now, he may have had some training, but when you say a package, it, that means you step onto the film set as a martial artist. I don't feel that, that that's the case with James Ryan in Kill and Kill Again and Kill or Be Killed. So I do know, just from my trained eye, 
there were several guys who were participating in that particular scene where it was sort of like Ender the Dragon uh, and Han had all of these karate fighters from all over the world come for this tournament. It was the same uh, scenario or setup in uh, Kill or Be Killed where it was a baron on the desert and he had all of these martial arts practitioners uh, recruited from across the planet, if you will, for this tournament against his people. So uh, James Ryan asked compared or in contrast to the other guys that was on his team he didn't stand a chance you know uh, from an aesthetic standpoint if you will he did not look the part of a martial artist and you can teach anyone to jump into a karate stance or what have you and make it look convincing throughout my life I've seen people who have walked in my school and said uh, I want to learn martial arts and they would jump into a stance and all you have to do is copy a few moves and uh, if you have the right character you can be very convincing when in fact you may not even be a martial artist at all may have not even ever stepped into a karate school or even trained with an instructor or a master so uh, long story short my uh, view on James Ryan being a martial artist I really don't think that he is a martial artist or a dedicated martial artist because there's very little information that's available to uh, support him being one. Now as I said if anyone knows more than what I know about this situation or this subject of James Ryan the actor please let us all know and then I'll do a follow-up video and then I'll have that correction in there as well. Take care. I'm out.